Hey, what's up, everybody? It's AJA broadcasting to the world, showing you how this beat thing virtual works. And right now, I'm going to take the time, take a moment to show you instrument mode and show you how quick and easy it is to make an instrument on uh, Beat Thing Virtual and how reliable it works. Um, you hear a lot of people talking, but you know, I got to show you the truth. So you just click on the instrument button right here. You got your list of instruments that we provided, right? You got your little guitars and basses. See, that's a bass. Got them horns in there. Let me pull the volume down. It's loud. Ooh, I like them sounds. They got the you know, you got keys, you got strings, let me pull up some strings, check this joint out. Ain't nobody got them sounds, we made them sounds, look at here, we got violin. Got all kinds of crazy synth sounds in this joint, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it gets it gets intense in here. I mean you don't even know. We got the weird vocals. You know what I mean? Some choirs and some wind instruments, some sitars and kotos, you know. If you want to go on an Asian adventure, you got that, you know what I'm saying? Just hundreds and hundreds of instruments. But today we're going to talk about how to make your own instrument, right? Because that's like unlocking the real power of this product. Anybody can play with the presets. Now I'm, I'm going to show you how to, to really do something in this instrument mode. So I just click the instrument button here. I'm going to click new, right? And then I just going to bank up and down, right? I'm going to use my bank key. I'm going to bank up to like say bank two and I'm gonna click on this pad right here um, C2 and bank two I'm gonna go down here I got some all my samples in in the factory is where all the samples we give you are and the users will be where all your samples that you put in there will live you see I got a bunch cause I got some some secret stuff ain't nobody got yet um, but let me go down here I'm gonna build me a little synthesizer a little synth right quick so let's go down here to all my synth sounds and there's tons of them, by the way. You see all the strings. We ain't even made instruments on, on out of a quarter of the strings yet, or even the synths. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to find me the sound I want to use. There's so many to choose from. It's kind of hard sometimes to find what you want to use because there's just so much stuff in here. Ah, uh, Big Boy. Let's make an instrument out of Big Boy. So I'm just going to drag that sample to the pad just like so. I'm going to show you how quick and easy and reliable this all works and how easy it is to do it and so you can do it too and then um, I'm gonna set my trigger to gate because if I click if I set leave it on retrigger the sound is gonna play uh, out the whole length every time I hit the key if I set it to gate it just uh, you know what I'm saying it only plays as long as I hold the key now that sounds not loud enough so I'm gonna turn it up and turn the volume up a little bit right Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. Let me make it a little more interesting. You can scroll over, you can fool with your cutoff and resonance filters. You know what I mean? You just experiment with those two, you'll see what they do. You can add a little reverb. Yeah, see? Put a little delay on it. That's getting a little more interesting. And then attack, the case is staying release. Well, attack makes it come in a little slower. Or I could just pull it back because I like that little fast attack like that. Decay makes it uh, how long the sound will play out. All right. Sustain is like how long after you release the key will it continue to go. And that's the same thing with release. Like sustain and release go together. So you just mess with those however you, however you want to. You just experiment with them. You'll find the right settings that you like. Every instrument is different. And then just scroll over here. I got my start and end point. I could do all that. But, uh, now let's let's make this even more interesting. Let's just uh, scroll up here and go to layer two. Just hit the up key on your computer 
um, and then just you know now you're on layer two you can layer up to 16 things on each pad right so I'm gonna find me something else I want to use I'm gonna say like maybe uh maybe like this sound let me see what this sound like oh, that's nasty see that just made it crazy so I'm gonna bring the volume down a little bit so it don't overpower the other one Just getting warmed up. So now let's go to bank three. Let's find us something else we're gonna put on this joint. What else we gonna put on this? Maybe like freak dimensions or something like that. Yeah, let's try that joint. Yeah, so let's put this one to all the way to the right. Pull the volume down a little bit. Let's go back to layer two. Maybe put that one in the left. Now you got a synth happening. Now I'm gonna even take it a step further. I'm gonna go to, to layer four, right? And now what I'm looking for, I'm just looking for a little effect or something like that that I can use just to add that last little bit of um little uh, f flavor. I think I got something in mind here. Let's find uh, Doctor Evil. Ooh yeah, Doctor Evil. Could do that. Let's see. Yeah, Doctor Evil. <laughs> effect layer five and let's it just just take it over the top let me just show these people what this thing could do where's my other one where's mars probe <laughs> let me find that one right quick mars probe we're gonna put that on to the right and then watch this oh see now that's a that's a crazy scent so now I got that on one pad, right? Five layers deep. You know what I mean? I could mess with the pitch. Like I could bring the pitch of that down. And that Mars probe. I'm going to put it back to zero because I like the way it sounds right there. Mess with the cutoff and the resonance of that. You know what I'm saying? I could um, do the same thing with the attack and the decay. I could chop the wave of it, do whatever. But now um, I got something here that I want to use called velocity sensing. All right, so now I want to make it to where Mars probe only plays... If you hit the key the hardest, okay, this is where I would do that. So if you if I hit the key at the very very hardest, Mars Probe is gonna play, all right. And then I could go here, layer it down. And I could do the same thing for Doctor Evil, but maybe make it a little less sensitive. You know what I'm saying? So now, um, when I hit the key, it'll you, you'll see what it'll do in a second. I'll show you. But so then so, so then the next thing I want to do is I want key span it, all right. Key span. Click that. And now bank down to bank one. And I want to say, where's the start? Where do I want this to start? Well, I want it to start on the very first pad over here on the left. Just like think of picture a keyboard. You know what I'm saying? I want it to start on the, the furthest key to the left right here. And now I'm at CT2 already. That's the pad where I, I put everything at. So I need to bank up a few banks and go here and maybe put that on C5. Put the, Make it end at C5. You know what I'm saying? And then just hit complete and then there. <laughs> There's my instrument. And um, notice if I hit the key light, that plays. If I hit the key hard, got the crazy effects. And so in the end of it, it's like. So uh, that's how to make your own instrument, and I could just hit save here, and I'm gonna name that space business. Yeah, space business with two S's. You know what I mean? That's right. So got my space business happening. All right, now let's click back up here on pattern mode. I'm going to show you how to find that instrument once you created it. Let's click a new bat pattern here. And over here on the left hand corner you see factory instruments, factory kits. Well that instrument you created will be under user instruments. And it will be under space business. Right here. And I just click on space business. Boom. And there is the space business.